We're here with actor Michael Lopez, who, um, among other of his credits, are his Blue Bloods, which he was just on um, about a week or two weeks ago. Yeah, last Friday. I last Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, outstanding performance, first of all. Thank you. Thank you had a really uh, key role in the episode. Yeah. What was it like filming that? Uh, it was great. It was uh, fantastic. Um, it was a long, long shoot, but it was. It was it was really fun because of all the everything that came into play with the stunt work and everything, and just seeing how that was done and the whole me getting hit by the car, which unfortunately I wasn't able to do that stunt. But fortunately as well, because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I saw how it was, it was so abrupt, I turned around for a second and, and the stunt guy did it, and I was like, whoa! It was really, it was a great performance by him. So. It was just an overall great shoot. It was a great project, production to be a part of. Blue Bloods is awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, working with Will Estes as well, he's a phenomenal actor, a great person. And he made it fun and easy, you know. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> it well, now let's yeah. rewind to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. um, when did you first decide that you wanted to become an actor? I know you also are a rapper as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with some really but yeah, the, um, my acting was my first love and passion. That came from my father. Mm -hmm. He was um, he actually did a, a, a feature film in the eighties, and it was he was he, at my age right now. I was around like twenty two around there, and um, it was with a, a director who went on to direct uh, John Leguizamo's first feature film, which is uh, Hanging with the Homeboys. Okay. The director was uh, Joseph Vasquez. Mm -hmm. So my dad did that and when I was growing up I would watch that all the time and it was funny because um, it was very a lot of violence and kind of vulgar as well and I would watch it with my grandmother and she would watch me and babysit me and I would watch that film and she would yell at me in Spanish whatever for, but I, I, I loved to watch it, it was my father yeah, yeah. and it just instilled that that passion of acting you know that wound up coming out when I was seven and he was going to at the time he was with uh, an agency called McDonald Richards, mm -hmm. and they. I was just with him. I would always go with him to auditions, whatever jobs he would work on, and they asked if we were just somebody interested. And being a little kid, and you know, seeing him do it all the time, I was like, yeah, that'll do it. And my dad was like, sure. You know, he was never like really wanting to push me into it. It was never right. like that, which I appreciate. You know, it wasn't like a stage that type of thing or a stage whatever. You may call it, but I said, yeah, you know, I'll give it a shot. And from then on, I started, I started working a lot when I was younger. A lot mm -hmm. of the kids stuff and commercials, Hess, Kmart, a lot of stuff. And yeah. the food commercials where you gotta keep eating it. And yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, actually, it's funny. Um, that reminds me of a Bank of America commercial I did. Oh, oh actually, uh, Fannie Mae. Uh -huh. thing, and it was like cereal. And I was just eating cereal nonstop. Like, I remember it was like 40 something takes, but it was cool. It's, it's great though. You know, just being on set is it's, it's wonderful. You know. When uh, or what was your big uh, first break? What brought uh, up to you was? I would say a movie called Funny Valentine, mm -hmm. which was with uh, Anthony Michael Hall, who like, from the eighties remember mm -hmm. Sixteen Candles and all that stuff. And you know that was I remember like it was yesterday getting that role. I was just I was around ten or eleven. Just um, excited, and yeah, it was you know because it was him, mm -hmm. and it was a feature, so that was definitely the, the big, the, the big, the first real experience of you know working on something project that's real. You know, I mean, I did Law and Order when I was younger. I had like one line or so, mm -hmm. but that I can remember like yesterday, booking you know, jumping on my bed and stuff. You know, yeah, absolutely. and. Um, just being really excited to work with the director as well, and just um, being a part of something that was big, big uh, you know, at the time I felt like, you know. And I mean, it, it, it's still, uh, looking back at it, it's, it's, it's a, just a memory and a great experience, you know. What about your film, Short Kings of Bushwick? Yeah, um, that was something pretty incredible in terms of, the good and the good and not the good and bad, but just really the work I put into it in terms of producing as well. Because I really did, 
I was really hands on with my father, mm -hmm. uh, Angelo Lopez, that's his name, and I helped him out a lot. And not only with the acting, like I had to really bring bring the acting, but I was also my first time actually producing. And I really did produce. It wasn't like you know it's my dad, so he's just gonna oh you produce you know, like I'll put you as a producer credit. Just help me right. out here and there. Yeah, I was making phone work. calls. Yeah. You know, I was doing. I raised money. You know, um, and that was probably before Kickstarter and all that, right? It it was around. It, exactly. it was actually like um, Kickstarter was available mm -hmm. and people were using it, but I was using my own resources with my friends and everything, and people you know who, who know I, what I've been about. Yeah, that's years. really cool to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At your age. Yeah, th thank you, um, and that's something um, I, I've never really. Like he would be like, oh, you know, learn how to direct and everything, which was cool. I'm like, I would like to learn that aspect, but the producing was was actually pretty. I, I would definitely like Mark Wahlberg, for instance. You know how he does Boardwalk Empire now, like stuff like that. Like that really, I see myself going down that lane, that path. You know, that really, when I was doing that, I felt really, I was intrigued and I was engaged. You know, so yeah, it was a great experience. Um, and we, our hopes are to make it a uh, feature, mm -hmm. which the uh, script was actually written for it, but we'll probably do a rewrite for it. But coming from that short and being that we got that done, we're now working on a feature film titled Vieques, which is written by Niraj Katyal. He wrote um, a script titled the, the Amazing Adventures of the Monogamous Duck, which was actually purchased by the Weinstein Company nice. uh, quite a few years ago. but. It was never made, you know. Um, but I actually read the script, and you know, it's a phenomenal script. And through that, we hired him to write Vieques, which is um, a horror film set in Vieques, Puerto Rico. So it's like a teen horror thing, but with the backstory of Vieques and the whole bombing and military and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that'll come into play. So you'll actually be filming in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, yeah, yeah. So that's something that's in the works right now. And you're one of the leads, obviously. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good for you because you're yeah, 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 does yeah. not die. So yeah. Well, yeah. We won't spoil it. I don't. Yeah, I don't. We won't spoil it. But usually the lead doesn't die, so hopefully that spells well for your yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's a that's a plus in being involved with it. You know, <laughs> knowing what's being written or whatever. But it, it's great though. I mean, the writer is phenomenal. Like I said, the, that first script. I see like Brian Gosling playing the character. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it's really good what the Weinstein company purchased. So through that, we, we have, he built the confidence with us so we can hire him for, for, for that, for Viegas project. And uh, I think it'll be great. It could be a, a sequel could come out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, a lot of people were in talk, are still in talks, like Luis Guzman. Sequels um, are only good if you're still alive. Remember that. I'm sorry. Sequels Se are only yeah, good exactly. if you're still yeah. alive. So yeah, I'll, keep that in mind. Yeah, if exactly. Yeah. If you're any hand in writing. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, we we won't talk sequel if if I'm out of bob. <laughs> <laughs> nah, definitely not. It's 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 for the better of the project. I, I always feel like that. You know. Now let's uh, veer off a little bit and talk yeah, about yeah. your rap. Um, sure. I had a chance to listen to some of it last night. Oh, cool. Thank was, you. Uh, really, for somebody so young. Yeah. You really had a, a pulse on. Doing a good job, number okay. one, which sounds idiotic. Why would you? No, 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 no. But it was really um, well wrapped. And, Thank you. Um, and it sounded great. Thank you. What are you looking to do in terms of your rap? Um. Well, the the rap, like I said, the acting was first, mm -hmm. my first passion. Um. The rap came along. I actually started dibbling dabbling when I was like probably 11 years old. I mean, I mean, I'm sure many people have said, oh. Eight Mile, Eminem movie, it made me want to rap, but it really did. You know, I saw Eight Mile, and I, I think I wrote my first rap, and I did write, write my first rap. And from and Eminem was the first artist that actually made me buy it, a rap album. You know, I was never into rap until Eminem. I, I was, you know, but something caught my eye because I can't sing. You know, but rapping was something that little by little I started. You know perfecting kind of and mm -hmm. now I really work at it so my hopes are to be an all-around entertainer you know and I dropped that first uh, mixtape on my birthday this past August just to put out a project so people take me serious mm -hmm. you know 
because I spoke to somebody um, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm just keep putting out videos or whatever, just the best song possible. He's like, you know, people respect projects more when you a full body of work. So that's what I did with the mixtape, and now I'm working on a second mixtape, which I want to elevate even more. You know, I want to keep getting better. And like and like you said, um, why well, put it out if it's not good? Which is true. It's not. It's not idiotic, idiotic because um, I, I'm I'm a I feel like I'm a perfectionist with with stuff, whether it be acting or or, or, or music, um, and especially music because something I've always thought of to myself is like acting I'm I'm portraying a character I'm portraying mm -hmm. somebody else the music is me you know it's my story right uh, I have all control I, I write everything you know um so well rapping is like poetry yeah exactly your own life yeah yeah, yeah exactly vulgar it doesn't have to yeah, be yeah 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 come down yeah, yeah, yeah. and like blow your head off yeah yeah I mean that, rap has a bad name sometimes no of course yeah I mean but for somebody young like you you can kind of change way people look at it. Yeah, and I, that's what my goal is. Uh, that's something I would love to do. And um, that's what I did. I, the last video I put out, it's called X. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, I named it X because I don't even know why. Oh, uh, but I, I know why. Because it's like X, like um, Malcolm X or uh -huh. that whole time, like Muhammad Ali when he was X, whatever. So it's just like, that's me, I'm X. It's like, can't be defined or whatever. But it was, it's a really deep song, you know, it's, it's just me talking about myself. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, uh, and a, a friend of mine was like, you got so emotional, and I'm like, that's what it's about, you know, like, if you in, evoke emotion, evoke thought, you're doing something right, and you're doing something different, you know, like, there's a time and place for everything, there's a time for club songs, there's a time for love songs, and there's a time for storytelling, you right. know, which, I, and I want to be able to capture everything. You know, and, and the new mixtape I'm going to uh, put out, it's going to be even better production. I'm working with somebody, his name is um, Money Roll Beach, that's his uh, mm -hmm. stage name that he goes by, he's a producer nice. um, that I've met. And it, it, it'll be nice because the last project I worked on, I was getting beats from different places and now it's more, I feel like this one's going to be more focused uh, with one person producing it. And, you know, I'm excited about that. And, Putting on more work, you know. Very cool. Yeah, well, yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who is just starting out? You started out as a young age. Yeah. Um, but you've also branched into different genres, mm -hmm. whether it be the rapping, yeah, or the producing, mm -hmm. or you know whatever's coming down the line for yeah, you, yeah. obviously. So, what advice would you give to somebody who is just starting out? I would definitely say to somebody, an actor named Gary Perez, who's very well known. Sorry about that, Um He's very well known and I actually, he probably put the passion of auditioning. I always loved auditioning. I've never had a problem with auditioning, but auditioning and really just the technique. He, he teaches an audition camera craft and technique class. Mm -hmm. And it just, for me, the class wasn't just about auditioning. You know, it was about everything. And something he teaches is to build a legacy. You know, don't expect to go, you know, don't be disappointed if you don't get the job. Mm -hmm. And that's what he teaches. He's like, forget it, you know, do, you prepare. Like, it's your job to prepare to do, to get on book, first of all. That's what he really teaches. He's like, a lot of people come in and you see how bad it looks if they're not a book if they're reading like this. You know, yeah. it just, it, it takes away from the performance. It takes away from... Because your head's on the page. Yeah, your head's on the page. Acting. Yeah, exactly. So he would, he says that to build your legacy. I mean, recently I was up for a feature film. Uh, John Leguizamo was in it. Fel Felicity Huffman is in it. Um, two nobodies. <laughs> two nobodies. <laughs> yeah. I, and, I, and I was in the mix for it, and I didn't get it. And it was casted. Um, the casting director is by uh, is uh, Meredith Tucker, mm -hmm. uh, casting director of Warwick Empire. Um, which shoots here, so why yeah, great. She and, and she, she's great. She's phenomenal. And I was just the thing I was most happiest about was getting in front of her and being able to read for her. Mm -hmm. You know, so and that and I didn't get the job, which I'm not. I, I'm not ashamed, ashamed to say because I was very confident and I was prepared and I was happy with the performance I gave. You know, the callback. I was in the mix. Yeah, whatever. You can't. You can't. 
you can't, you don't know what look they're going for. And that's really up to them. That's their vision. You know, they, you can't fault them for that. Yeah, but you do the best you can. Yeah. Right? And you're proud of what you did. Exactly. So it, you can't beat yourself up. Yeah. And then whatever it is you want to do, build your legacy, mm -hmm. you know, from, from the ground up, whether it be, you know, two views to a hundred to a hundred thousand, if it's music or whatever you're doing online, you know, that makes a difference because it's organic, you know. Yeah. And, and those two views would be two people who have no idea who care. Who are, and, yeah. they and they're real fans. That's what you want. You want real, real fans fan or somebody in the industry that exactly. Never yeah, about exactly. Them, so exactly. Like. So it's about a legacy. It's not about. I mean, of course, cool. more power to you if you, you know, over, overnight. You know, that's yeah. that, that that's phenomenal as well. You know, but um, build. most people have to work for it. Yeah, build, build. That's what that's what it's about. Yeah. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate great it. talking to you and thank we look you forward to everything that's coming down the pipe for you. Thank you. Appreciate it.